What's good, y'all? I'm the Melody Doctor, and this is an FL Studio 21 Melody tutorial. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to make a melody using nothing but stock plugins, so everyone can follow along. So these are the plugins that come with FL Studio. We're going to use GMS. In GMS, you can definitely make some fire melds with GMS. Um, and yeah, uh, I would start off with either a lead and synth or a pad and texture. You can do either or. Um, I always say like with beat making and, and whatnot in general, don't try not to be too formulaic too. I'm showing you a method, but try not to be too formulaic. And what we're gonna do is like, I use like a simple formula when I make melodies, is basically try to make the best sound possible. So that means that starts off with picking the best sound and then, and, then the, and then play the best combination of notes. That's basically like my strategy. So let's let's find a dope sound here. Pretty good. Yeah, this sounds pretty good. All right, so let me kind of pan down so you can so you can see my hands a little bit better. All right, so let me let me like kind of show what notes I'm playing. And again, like the notes don't necessarily. Like, you don't have to play these notes, right? Like, whatever you're feeling or whatever type of vibe you're feeling with the melody. Like, some melodies, I play, like, a certain type of thing. I just kind of vibe out. Um, it sounds, you know... But that's that's what I do, you know? That's that's creativity. That's, that's it in a nutshell. And also, like, notice with the note technique, I, I'm only playing sounds that actually sound good. So, I'll, say I start with the C5, which is, like, the bass note here. Like, what sounds better? This... Or, should, or, or do I go, say I'm like, or does this sound better? Like, like this one sounds a little weird. I would say almost as a general rule of thumb, you don't want to play two notes that are like right next to each other in a lot of the cases. So like, I wouldn't play like, like that's not a good melody. Like I would skip some notes. I could go like, boom. Play E. But in this case, I'm going to use the black keys. And don't be afraid to use the black keys. And then I like to freestyle, get it right, get it to how I like it. So I'm playing this, I'm like, and really take note on what sounds best. Like I'm, I'm placing down. Notice how I'm like, I'm kind of like, uh, what, I forgot what the word for it. Like, I, I call it like slurring, when you kind of like hold the key down while hitting another key. There's like a word for that. Okay, right. And so now I'm just, I'm gonna try to play that, and then keep in mind the pace that I'm playing it. I want to get that exact pace in FL. Like, I don't want to record it in FL and then it's like this. Unless that's what you want. But I try to get like the natural vibe that I'm catching, that I'm vibing with, that exact pace in FL. So it's like. And this takes practice. I've gotten pretty good at this. So let me see. Feel rushed. That sounds about right. 164. All right, and then you just record. Make sure this is a half beat and then record. And then maybe try something else like.
and that's how you get like a dope metal. So I hear, I'm hearing this. Take this. Take the freaking metronome the heck off, bro. <laughs> Lord, take that thing off, man. All right, so let's see here. That actually sounds pretty good. I actually liked that part. Sometimes it be like that. Like, I like, let's try that, um, let's go like, boom, 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 and then play like, boom, 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 boom. And then let's try that A down there. Okay, let's, let's try that. A little tricky to see, like that. We can make this a little easier ourselves by deleting this. Let's drag it over. Cut the rest of this out. Let's kind of like finish the melody here. I can also kind of break down what's going on here. And I try to have some variation between, I usually try to have some variation between each four bars. Like I try to have variation every two like this. And then like, I don't want to just repeat that a second time. Although you could. Dun, dun, dun. And then like, whatever the vibe is. Dun, dun, dun. Maybe sing along with it. That might work there. So maybe I'll try like dun, 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 dun. What you can do is to copy that same pattern, you can hold, sh highlight that, hold shift down, and then just kind of drag it in that same place. So yeah, nice. Okay, we have ourselves a melody here. And then like, I would also say like, can we make this even longer? I typically think a longer melody, the better. So maybe what can we do in the second part to make it in unique at all? So we have this melody, drag it in the mixer, drag it in the mixer. Oh, another thing you can do is to humanize this, hit control A, alt R, and kind of like this messes with the velocity, which kind of makes it sound more like natural. I, know, I like to do that with Mel's. Just gives it like a more human feel. All right. And then um, add, start messing with some effects. I like I like the convolver. Reverb is a go-to almost every time. And there's multiple reverbs. There's Fruity, Convolver, which I like. And then Fruity Reverb 2 I like to mess with. Definitely try the, the venue one. Just hit that preset. And you can definitely stack reverbs. So what I'll do is I'll be like this. I'll be like, good. I actually think this reverb makes it sound a little weird. So maybe just like just this one. That definitely gives a lot of sound. That's pretty good too. I got my thing about this one exactly. Yeah, definitely too. So try to add two, it's cool. You can try delays too. <laughs> it 
again, what I always do is like A-B test it, like, good. Kind of does add a little bit more flavor to it. And then we have ourselves a melody. That's really that. Uh, yeah, so again, there's a lot of different ways to make a melody. That's just one method. Kind of mix it around, you know, if you don't like it, you can take this stuff out. Last thing I will show is uh, kind of layering it. Another thing you can try. Sometimes I like to add like multiple melodies in one melody or um, you could you could try copying this, pasting it, and then layering another sound over it. So maybe like another pad. It's like a whole different You definitely get a lot of sound going. So you, you do this, you sound like, okay, this guy's cooking. Then maybe you could try different variants. So maybe just turn this one off and see what it sounds like. So again, you go a lot of different ways. Melody doctor and the So you can see the amount of variations I can come up with this. And then if you've ever done like a multivariant test, then like, you know, just pick like the best possible variation. That's one way to do it. You don't always have to do this, but I'm just showing you guys like different ways you can make make the melody go. Different places you can make the melody go. GMS got some got some decent sounds. Honestly, if I had to choose the best, I'd be like, that didn't really work. Let's go back to this. And I'll kind of move forward with this, like, but you know me, let me try something else. Maybe try to layer another sound on it, over it. like a different note so I'm actually playing it this time and it helps to know what notes were just played so let's see we got a C in here so I'll maybe try hitting C here hit around like the same notes I can it usually makes it sync a little bit better Put this in a different channel too, so maybe like Melody Doctor, baby. 
That's just what some of you could do. Hmm. The recording's like a little bit delayed here. For some reason, that's just how it went. For some reason, there's like a slight delay. All right, yeah, we'll work on that another time. Um, that's it for this video, Melody Doctor. Uh, slight delay on this, a little weird, happens sometimes. Let's see if we can actually fix that. So let's see here. So sometimes sounds just like, like it's hitting on time. Let's examine this. It's definitely hitting the note on time. You see the note just plays, so starts so late. Let's take off the delay and see if that fixes it. Okay, so that does hit on time. That's, okay, that's that's weird. Man, I hated to go there <clears throat> with this video, but all right. That, that's a little tricky. But just have to, well, what I would do is I would just, I would move this over and let's see what that sounds like. And then after hearing that, I'm like, I don't even think that even sounds better. I would just go with that at that point. Okay, anyways, tried, tried a lot of things there. Uh, Melody Doctor in the building. Y'all stay tuned for more. Uh, remember, yeah, like, try different methods, A-B tests, try different ways to do a melody, and then try to pick, like, the best possible way. So that's beat making. Peace out.